say when I was a kid. He was only allowed one plate of food. And it was always bread, biscuits, cornbread, something on the table. To uh, and it was always some kind of gravy, some kind of gravy, bean juice, something other like that. You didn't ask for seconds. But it was all right to ask for a piece of bread because. My ex-wife asked me one time, she says, are you going to lick that plate? And I looked up at her and I said, well, if you cook some biscuits, I wouldn't have to. Then I just went to licking the plate. See, this right here is what my mama called dessert. See, my folks were born and raised during the Depression. All my brothers and baby boomers born in the 1950s. I was born late in the 1960s. Yet, I was still raised just like a baby boomer child. Same TV shows. Charlie's Angels was considered too rough for me to watch. Even though I was about 10, 11 years old. I was afraid that some booze was going to fall out or something. But yeah. You put some biscuits on the table. The man won't have to lick a plate. Tell you something else. If your man brings a plate to the to the sink from the table and it don't look like this you can't cook you never ever touched your glass of tea until you were done eating you threw eating that was to wash it all down otherwise you were filling yourself up on tea Kool-Aid or whatever it was you was drinking. You didn't you didn't do that at my house. That's a fact. You didn't smack your lips. You didn't chomp on your food. You didn't act up in any way. And you for, for goodness sakes, you didn't speak unless you were spoken to. That's a fact. So, every chance I get, I have dessert after supper. No matter how much it is, excuse me, maybe just a little bit, but always something sweet to tell myself and to tell my stomach that I'm through eating. That's how I continue my diet every night. My parents weren't so bad. That's just how it was. God bless you.